finally, 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 the game that you've been waiting for, the game that you've been mouth-watering, feeling, been anticipating, shaking about, convulsing, has finally been shown. And I know the crowd is going crazy because you guys finally get Rockstar's L.A. Noir VR Case Files. <laughs> Cue the music! Folks, Demi got reviews here, and no, some of you may be excited for Rockstar's uh, L.A. Noir Case Files for VR. I know some of you might be excited for that. I'm an L.A. Noir fan, but I'm not excited for that. But I know what you're here for. I know what you're mouth watering for. What is going on, folks? How are you guys doing today? Are you all right? Are you okay over there? Are you breathing? Is your heart still pounding from the reveal? Are you guys living? Are you okay? Beat your heart. Catch your breath. Take a seat. Relax. Get you a breather. I know. I'm excited just like you. The Last of Us 2 has gotten revealed for next year. February 2nd, 21st, 2020. I know what you guys are thinking. Teal, The Last of Us takes priority, right? TLOU2 takes priority, major priority. And some of you are excited if you're watching State of Play. If you haven't, the link to that will be in the uh, description box below where you can go watch that trailer and the reveal date. I know some of you are excited, jumping around the room, convulsing. But while I'm excited, while I want to see what's going on with Ellie and her girlfriend, what happens to them, old man Joel, who's in the trailer, everything possible, we gotta talk about one thing here. Last of Us 2 is next year. February, not even February, but 2020 is packed. Massively packed. And I mean so packed that for the first four months, it's a lot happening in those first four months. Let's break it down, shall January. we? January, you have Kakarot, if you're into DBZ and anime games, you have the new Tales game if you're into JRPGs, and start with February, you have The Last of Us 2 in that month, then when you hit March, you have Watch Dogs 2 if you're into that, then you have Final Fantasy 7 Remake if you're into JRPGs, and then April, April which is the big month, the month that I'm excited for personally because you have Cyberpunk right in that month. The first Four months is packed, and you probably have more games that haven't been announced coming right on top of those. Jeez. Jeez. I'm excited for The Last of Us 2. I'm very excited for that game. I played that game when I first got my PS4. That was the first game, like, the bundle that I had, and I loved that game immensely. But jeez. I'm trying to play Kakarot. I want to play Tales of Arise. I want to play The Last of Us 2. I want to play Watch Dogs 3. I want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. I want to play Cyberpunk. But you guys are pounding my wallet next year. My God. Well, it's already being pounded this year from certain buys with this month and then next month with COD. And it's just a lot of happening. A lot, my, my money is being purchased back to back to back to back to back to back. Take a breather. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to save money here. But you guys want to keep dropping games. You want to drop this cool looking DBZ game. Then you want to announce The Last of Us in February. Then you want to put up Watch Dogs Legion in March with Final Fantasy VII. Then Cyberpunk in April. I can't keep taking this beat, man. For those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm completely joking. I'm excited for all these games. And I already have most of these games pre-ordered. But if you really look at it <clears throat> from a, a, a realistic standpoint, it's multiple games released in 2020. It's a lot happening in January, February, March, and April. And I gotta ask you guys, what is your priority? I know for some of you it's gonna be The Last of Us. For some of you it's gonna be Cyberpunk. For some of you it's gonna be Final Fantasy VII Remake. For some of my anime fans who watch this channel, it's gonna be probably Kagurada Tales of the Rise. But for you, chat, I'm wondering, comment in the comment section below, what is your major priority next year? Is it The Last of Us? Cyberpunk, Final Fantasy VII. Is it a game that's been announced but doesn't have a release date yet, like <coughs> Ghost of Tsushima? Or is it something completely different? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. The Last of Us, February 21st, 2020. I'll drop the trailer below so you can see it. I'm excited. You're excited. Your grandmother's excited. Your mother's excited. Your ex is excited. Your current girlfriend, boyfriend, whomever is excited. Your dog's excited. Your cat's excited. 
even the plan is exciting. Let's talk about it. Are you excited for The Last of Us 2? Are you anticipating it? Is this going to be on your list of games for next year, or are you ignoring it? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Share your thoughts about what are you getting in 2020, and how do you feel about the next current games, the current wave of games released in 2020? Share your thoughts, and before you go, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell icon to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. I appreciate you guys, and I am very, very, very excited for The Last of Us 2, so there ain't even no question. So let's talk about it, let's get it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Oh, what's on here? Turn up and throw down. You thought I forget? And I'm out.